Okay guys, welcome in this training video. I'm going to share with you something really amazing that you can use in your web development project. One of them is called jQuery filter, search, or whatever you want to call it. Let's say, for example, we have this table and we want to type something in here and it automatically searches for it and hides all the other rows. So for example, if I type in John, or start to type in J-O is going to hide all other rows. And as compared to if I type in, let's just say, add example. So as you can see, it will search for that particular string that you want to do that. And I'm, what I'm going to do is, this is obviously not my code, but I want to share with you because I have used this particular code in my other projects. So I'm going to link to this in the description. You could just literally go to this page and then copy and paste this uh, particular code in your project so you can use it. It's very effective. So, but another one thing I want to tell you is like this is only searching the table. Well, this code is not only just for searching a table, it can search for pretty much anything. So for example, we have this list. So if I click on here and start typing in, let's just say F-O, then it's gonna start to filter through that particular list as well. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Yes, it gets better. So let's just say we have a variety of different uh, options. One of them is just I'm a paragraph, I'm a div, I'm a button, another button, another paragraph. So if I want to search through all these different elements, how do I do that? I can literally just start typing in, let's say I want to call it button, it's going to type in, it's going to, going to show you that. Now think about this, how powerful that you have a whole bunch of different elements that you want to able to search through it or have it included in your application where your users can easily search through different things. So let's just say I want to say P as in paragraph and then I want to say D uh, and then you could do that. So as you can see how powerful this thing will be. This is a very, very neat, quick and easy to implement trick that you can include it in your web project. So I'm gonna link this to, uh, I'm gonna leave this link in the description. You can check it out at your earliest convenience. And it's also, I have a gift for you, which you can get by going to this particular URL. And I will also leave it in the description for you, make it easier for you. Now, the gift that you can get is at codewithmark.com forward slash gift. Make sure you check it out. And if you are a new developer and you want to speed up your web development career at a lightning speed, make sure you check out my store in which you can find a whole bunch of uh, courses that's going to help you speed up your learning curve almost next to nothing. And it's possible. I'm just saying that with the code around it, it is possible that you can learn more going through my course than you would spending taking any other course because I only teach you the stuff that you need that is being used in the real world and all the companies are required for you to know. All right, guys, until next time, happy coding.